be very helpful. <sighs> See the carnage here. Remember that each soldier that ties its four, each model soldier represents four real soldiers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 36 dead soldiers, that's quite steep. So, since I only had one battalion here, I had to change my tactics accordingly because basically my my brigade was pretty much shattered. My flanking brigade lost, so I had to pull my reserve battalions from the center brigade and try to form another attack force. This attack group was actually very successful, as we'll see later in game. Anyway, these guys finally came back, which is good. And these guys are actually running away now. And Konitz is here probably realized. I mean, thank God he didn't shot at these guys. If he had shattered them, it would be a lot more complicated. Well, at least in my mind, because as we'll see later, I still had troop superiority in the field. Anyway, my light infantry keeps on firing. They behaved rather erratically. Actually, there was a point where I... Ah, here Konitz's artillery starts shooting, so I ordered one unit of voltigeurs to target his artillery specifically. And they were actually quite successful at that. Ah, uh, these troops had no auto fire still on. So I had to take it off. You can see the ramp, but that's artillery causes. Anyway. I'm moving my dragoons now to this part of the flank to try and outflank them here. And I had to take my fire at will from these units because they are firing very ineffectively. This mod is a lot of counterintuitive, so at, at the moment, the next version it will be much better, as Konitz told us. I actually wanted to see how effective were the Voltigeos versus the cavalry, because they killed quite a few, if I recall, around 40% of the unit, but I wanted to see how long did it take them. Hmm, they are suffering a bit from, from artillery. I don't know if troops in open order, which are actively seeking protection, should receive such high casualties, 9, so, well, at least they killed back. Ah, and I ordered my infantry line to move a bit forward, and my voltages as well, to get near to their artillery. So, how did they lose this man? Where my voltage is the sole reason for this? Oh yeah. <laughs> they were. It's exactly good. The voltagers have a. The light infantry has a. In general, not just the voltagers, have a role to play in the struggle. They did play this role of targeting enemy artillery soldiers in order to reduce their effectiveness and force them to cover, at least stopping them shooting. This is quite important to <laughs> stop them shooting. Now these guys are just firing a bit. Now they are quite fresh. And they are just pouring some fire. Not very effectively because of the terrain, but well, it did something. And at least forced him to withdraw from that flank because he didn't have any strength. Enough strength. So he's trying to pull back. I thought at this moment that because he had lost his cavalry... Oh, my National Guard broke again, yeah. Kind of forgot that. I thought that because he had lost his cavalry, he was actually trying to withdraw to a tighter location where he could withdraw his troops and get to the near of the map, because that's some of the house rules we play. If you can get to the near of the map, you can withdraw your, your army. You can get near the end of the map. So, at this moment, I decided to press forward a bit more aggressively. And thank oh, God for that. Running, yes, this is where the unit started to run. I gave actually the accidentally gave wrong commands to this unit instead of this one. And then I ordered them backwards and they just broke. Which is 
weird. Anyway, this is still holding fast. My main problem with light infantry at this moment in this mod is that there are too few. With the double cavalry squadrons, we double, double the cavalry number because of the double squadrons. Uh, we just have that many more battalions. I mean, on average, it's three or four extra battalions per battle. So, light infantry just plays too little rule because we just have a lot more units. Anyway, I'm now advancing with my attempt at his center. Well, what I aimed here, since he was repositioning and it was in a very defensive position. And these units, and these were very separated, I wanted to break his center. Only the formation took this very ugly aspect of trying to encircle them in the beginning. But anyway, let's see how it goes. And my dragoons are advancing as well. And these are guys. Yeah. Well, they broke, but these ones are okay because they have 15 units, which means casualties start to take their toll. It's roughly a quarter of the unit. Not a roughly, it's a quarter of the unit. Here is some. You see some very long range musketeering. Very ineffective. Probably fire at will. So. Anyway, as soon as I reach this summit with my artillery, now I could start to, you know, make artillery work their magic and pay back to Conitz a thousand fold for his daring attempts. Anyway, some musketeering had changed. Well, camera just shook because of the. And these guys are not in order of firing, firing at a will. Anyway, probably as soon as he saw my cavalry moving, he decided to withdraw. Ah, now they're firing. Mm, not very effectively, I'm afraid, but well, can't have everything. Now he's trying to focus these units here, but I actually saw that there was a kink here on the terrain, so he couldn't actually focus my units properly. And now my cannons are deploying. And my cavalry is deploying as well on the flanks. And everything is going according to plan at least. So I made another attack column here in the center. These attack columns are actually quite effective, which is something great. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> but he didn't kill a whole lot because as I said he couldn't properly target the units. And this effect of, you know, this silly effect of everyone falling to the ground is just another way of CA saying, yeah, we didn't even bother to take a look at how battles were fought back then. Anyway, I placed these two battalions in attack column, slightly protected by the terrain from their artillery and their infantry, and then 